home on that little island can be yours. Uh, list price is, uh, I believe, $16,990,000 or thereabouts. Uh, don't know any more details than that. That is called Sister Rock, just offshore from the mainland of uh, or the uh, island of uh, Marathon Key. And, uh, Mel looked it up on Zillow or one of those sites and it is currently for sale. Themselves a nice wind generator going it looks like. I assume they are uh, off grid completely. Hi, we're Mark and Mel. After raising four amazing daughters who are now raising our 12 grandchildren and helping people on land in the real estate business for over 30 years, we're now realizing our goal of a year-long adventure cruising America's Great Loop on our boat, Paradise. This is a 6,000-mile journey through waterways that include the Atlantic and Gulf Intercoastal Waterways, Great Lakes, Canadian Heritage Canals, and inland rivers of America's Midwest cities. Join us as we navigate over 100 locks, explore cities large and small, and experience an unforgettable journey through America's Great Loop. Morning from Paradise, we are Sister Rock Bay in just southeast of Marathon. And uh, we are going into the uh, Safe Harbor Marina, about ready to go in there in Marathon because the storm's coming and we got a slip. Yes! So excited we got a slip. So, um, and then after that, we're hopefully going to Bahia Honda. So excited about that. It's getting kind of rolly out here. Summer Fling's still out there anchored, but they are headed to, oh, Isla Medora. They're going to Isla Medora. I was saying it wrong. I was calling it Isla Medora. It's not Isla Medora. It's Isla Medora. <laughs> so we are going to uh, get ready to go and explore Marathon. I'm going to be in a arena for the storm. I'm excited about that. For a few days, we'll enjoy that. And then we'll go explore some more on the boat. Maybe go to Key West. There is an island and a house on an island. It is for sale. And I think it's just a deal if it comes with the island for only $16 million. So if y'all want an island with a house on it, it looks like a it looks like a big stadium, actually. It doesn't even look like a house. Now I'm going to go lift the anchor so we can get going. time I didn't have it recording so <laughs> so you really said, need to work on that I know I do I'm blind sometimes I can't see the real record button uh, the light is on but he's saying like that that little green area up there is much lighter than their surrounding area and so Mark was explaining that it's something you have to get used to well, at first, when I saw those light patches, uh, to me, the illusion was that it's just shallow water. But I learned that it's just a different uh, bottom composition. In the lighter aqua colors, it's, uh, that's sandy bottom. And then everything around it that's darker is grassy bottom. So uh, uh, I could tell on the chart that it's not shallower right there. And in the depth finder, as we go over, it's not 
too shallow. It's, but it's just, it was my first impression was, oh my gosh, shallow water every time I saw it right. uh, like that. Right, so. me too. So this marina is $200 a day for our boat and uh, safe harbor and boot key. It's very nice. We're on the outer, outer edge so we're going to get a very nice view. Uh, we see some other loopers here. Um, but yeah, it looks like they have a rentals here also. and. So we're going to check into the office, but very nice accommodations here. They have a laundry room. Oh, there it is. There's the marina office and ship store. And our electric works here. We hooked up the water. We can either do laundry on on our boat or we can do laundry here so this is nice I feel very good being here it's definitely not as rolly out in the as out in the bay which I was ready for a break from
it is the day after Groundhog Day, February 3rd. Check out our view. Pretty calm in Marathon. Here at the uh, rental car counters at the Marathon Airport. And they got this cool little map on the floor showing all the keys. Picking up this uh, gray Nissan Titan here at uh, Avis. A marathon and the only damage I see at least so far are these uh, uh, bad spots on the paint this is the rear driver's side door and there's a couple more nicks in the paint right here on the bed that's a good thing about this marina too it's not very far from which was, what, three miles away? 4.7. 4 7, 4 .7 Who's counting? Did you lift or Uber on there or taxi? I took a taxi, $7. Not bad. Seven mile bridge. Seven mile bridge, and that's the old one, and that's the one, isn't that the one that uh, was in True Lies? Where they... Yes, that is the girls to film that scene where she was plucked from the sunroof of the car just before it went off the bridge into the water. Yeah. You have to pay, I think, $20 or was it $20 or $25 a person? $25 a person. And you, you can take a little train or walk out there and you can explore. It's a long walk. So that's where the old bridge used to go to. And um, it's, wow, now it's raining. And I think this is the place where they drove off the bridge because it's a bigger opening. <coughs> That's a great scene. Wow, it's coming down. This is a good day to have a car. It's not a good day for a bike ride. <laughs> not a good day for a bike ride. There's Fred the tree. I don't know the bush's name, but there's Fred. It's actually got a marker on the map. Fred the tree. Hi, Fred. Now we're coming up on Bahia Honda State Park right up here, which we will be at uh, next week. And next to that is uh, Sunshine Key RV Resort and Marina. Little duck. Oh, this is Little Duck. probably go out on, a lot of people go out on that uh, old bridge, walk back that way to go fishing. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing people on that, what I think is that section of bridge that gets connected here, fishing when we drove here last time. <clears throat> Tornado warning. Uh, that is just past Big Pine Key. So we're going to head north, away from the tornado. It's funny, everybody naturally talks about the direction and the keys. From one key to the next is north and south. Yeah. 
but if you look at a map, it's far more, it's much closer to east and west than oh, north and south. Oh, it is. I can see now. <laughs> We're going to head back up the Keys, which is actually east, there northeast. Uh -huh. Up the Keys or down the Keys? Yeah, up the Keys or down the Keys. We're headed up the Keys again to get away from the tornado that's showing just past Big Pine Key. It was just posted 18 minutes ago. It shows this area <clears throat> all around in tornado warning. This dangerous storm will be near Niles Channel Bridge, Summerland Key, Middle Torch Key, <clears throat> Little Torch Key, Ramrod Key, and Big Torch Key. 940 and it is 957. Watch out for dark rotating clouds. If you see one, take shelter immediately. That storm is going to be continuing to come through on Monday evening also. See how it gets really red and orange coming through here. And it's going to hit the keys on uh, Monday around noon. So we are going to stay put in the marina. And hopefully it'll be over. Looks like it continues in Tuesday. Uh, but might be stopping around Wednesday. And that's when we are planning on going to the BMP Kia Honda. <laughs> I didn't have it on. How's the coffee? Is it good? So how's this in all? Yummy. Yummy? So all the used books are over there. And then they have new books on the other side. Fresh pastries, coffee, all kinds of syrups. And it's the cutest and it's called the coffee, Mr. Bean, coffee and books. Books and coffee, right? Mr. Bean, books and coffee. Books and beans. February 5th. And we are hunkered down in the marina because wind and, ra wind and rain and waves going on right now. Planning for possibly taking out the boat, pulling out the boat. We're looking at a lot of things to get done here, possibly while we're in the Keys. Pulling the boat out to possibly swap our prop out. We need to swap out the prop uh, with the... Uh, with the one that should be on there on the starboard side that was just reconditioned. Just a little light on the subject there. And, and, um, and we are trying to figure out whether to go to the Bahamas, whether to go to Key West. We've both been to Key West. We were in Key West just a little over a year ago. Spent a week there and so we don't have any overwhelming desire to visit there. Again, although we're not against going there, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, looking into possibly, we want to get our prop swapped out, which we've got our new reconditioned prop here. We've been carrying it around with us for a week or so now. And uh, we want to get it installed, and we're debating whether to hire a diver to install it right here in the water at the marina or to pull the boat out um, and get a look under there. Uh, it's not too much more uh, cost-wise. I like the idea of pulling it out just to see what's going on under there um, and possibly check the shaft on the starboard side. We never had the ch shaft checked, although it was visually looked at. It doesn't look, didn't look bent, but uh, we can get somebody that does a, has a micrometer on it and checks it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, to avoid any feature so, problems. Yeah, so uh, we've got a little bit of vibration on that side with the current prop on there, uh, but uh, I don't know if that's due to do the fact it's an imperfect prop uh, or possibly the shafts. But anyway, and it's, we also uh, <clears throat> we also hit a, uh, a buoy for a crab pot uh, a few weeks back uh, on one of our uh, Gulf crossings. Uh, from Crystal River into Tarpon Springs, there was a. We were going between two crab pots, and one of the crab pots we didn't see it, but the line that goes down to the crab pot was actually floating 
across in front of our, our boat and we didn't see that in the choppy water. And we caught that crab pot and rolled it up in there and we eventually got it cut loose and everything seems to work okay. Um, and, uh, but we don't know if that did any damage to anything else down there, maybe even the rudder, I don't know, but we don't have any symptoms, but we'll see. Yeah. So that's where we're at. Just be good. And it's raining like cats and dogs right yeah, now. Yeah, got nothing else to do, so we might as well do that kind of stuff and make sure it's all, paradise is all taken care of. So that's what we're going to try and do besides, um, because we can't really explore in weather like this. So we'll take care of business. This is Alec. He's our diver that's going to be Swapping out our prop today. You don't wear a BC of any kind? Nope. No. This is the best way right here. No. Put it on your back. Just free swim. didn't get it on video, but he uh, took this black line here and he tied it to our 45 pound prop and he dangled it down in the water there. So it's just dangling there on this line and that's how he's going to get access to it when he's ready to uh, swap it out. Got his puka pump running. Is under there somewhere. Don't see his bubbles. He's got another bucket on a line right here. Presumably his tools or something or other things he needs. Well, he just came up and he. Uh, drop that wad of black line on the swim step. Presumably he found that on our propeller shaft. Apparently we did not get all the uh, all that uh, crab pot line off when we hit that crab pot a while back. Maybe we should have had this looked at sooner. Hmm. It was pretty sunny yesterday, but this is what we've been in a marina for. We've been waiting for this rain and wind and waves to come, and I don't see any boats out there just anchored. So everybody's was expecting this weather, and they got in a marina, hopefully, like us. So we're going to see how long this storm lasts. Raining all day. So, we've been just trying to do work on the computer, plan, and now the rain has stopped and the sky is clearing. Hopefully it'll stay clear tomorrow. But we also got a lot of line off of our 
propeller. That was cr just crazy. We had so much line on our propeller, huh? What? We had so much line on our propeller. A big blob of nylon line on the propeller. Which was has been stuck there since we hit the crab pot in... Probably close to a month. Wow. Wow. And that was back... That was the middle of coming from Crystal River to Tarpon Springs. Yeah, a few yeah. weeks. That's wild. But it's all off now, and the only reason that you knew that is because you had the change, you changed the propeller back to the exact size. We weren't changing it because the propeller was damaged, we were changing it up because the propeller that was on there was not a perfect propeller and it was a slightly different size. Yeah. So that turns out it was damaged by the crab pot. Yeah, it was. So. so that was a good thing we got that done. These birds are just chirping away. They sound very happy. These birds sound the happiest of anybody. Celebrating another sunset.